Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So on today's video, what we're gonna do is those pots right there, we're gonna turn those into a little mini chicken smoker or food smoker. I don't know, maybe chicken thighs, hamburgers, whatever. I bought each one for about $3.50. They're 12 inch pots. All right, I'm gonna turn the uh, camera around and we're gonna go ahead and get things going. Let's do this. One is gonna be on top of the other. So, Basically like that. All right, so that is gonna be the setup. What I b did, ooh, yikes. What I did at the bottom of the pot was I took these rocks and put them at the bottom, and what that's gonna do is keep this pan raised up off of the hole that's at the bottom. That way there can get some airflow through the bottom of the uh, terracotta pot. Um, but that will be where I hold the chips. I got this template right here and that is the perfect size. I'm not going to drop it in because then I got to get a knife to get it out, but that is the perfect size for the grate that is going to go inside that hole. Okay, going to use that template for this cookie rack that I got. Uh, this cookie rack I had in the house, it's not getting used, so we're going to use this as the grate. First we need to outline it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take a black marker and I'm just gonna get it as close to this edge as I can right here. And we're going to just draw the line around each one. And this is where I'm gonna cut, okay? Okay. I think I got it to the point where I'm gonna cut on the inside of each black mark that I make. So now you can see the circle, and I'm going to just cut on the inside with the grinder. All right guys, so here we go. I got the uh, grate cut out, nice perfect circle. Let's go see if it fits in the uh, thingamajabby over here. Let's see, looks pretty good. It's got a little, couple little loose spots right here and right here, but uh, for the most part, I think it's gonna do its job. It'll hold any kind of weight. I'm actually press pressing pretty good, no big deal. So I'm gonna make for the top, Right here, I'm actually gonna make a little handle and I'm gonna show you how I do that next. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be my handle and this is gonna go on the inside of the pot and when I pull up on the handle, the this will grab inside of the pot. That way I can lift it up like a little handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this now and uh, yeah, we'll go show you how I do that. So I'm gonna move this little table here. So that is how I'm going to use my handle and I took and I sanded this all down. Uh, you could see the wood is nice and smooth so when I grab it with my hand it's nice and smooth. And then I can also use it as a little mini damper so if I want to seal off I could open it up a little bit. I could let some smoke out that way. Yeah so now I can just pull that up and that'll lift the smoker lid. All right, everybody, so there it is. Let me put the, oh, what the heck, those are my sunglasses. That is the smoker right there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring this out to the back porch, and I think we're gonna go ahead and, um, yeah, we're gonna, now nah, you know what we're gonna do right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing started. We're gonna fire it up. So let's go ahead and fire up my terracotta pot smoker that literally cost me $7.80, maybe eight bucks. Well, let's just say 10 bucks. We're gonna say $10 for this whole thing. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. There it is, um, we got the fire going. Got my pot top ready. I think we are ready to barbecue 
smoke something. Here we go. <laughs> hey guys, all right, so we are back. This is my neighbor, Richard. How you doing? And I ran to the store real quick. I spent three bucks on uh, some chicken th drumettes. We're gonna throw those on there, and it might take a while, so you probably won't, be, you probably won't try them, so. Yeah, you, well. yeah, you'll be in bed by then. At least in the video. <laughs> but you're in the video, so I'm gonna pass the camera off to him. I'm gonna flip these around. That way he can record me. I'm gonna throw these things on the um, little smoker right there. Actually, I'm gonna flip it around. It's cool, look at it, it's bellowing out, so I'm pretty excited. Look at it go. You can see the smoke coming right out the uh, little hole there. So it's working. It's pretty cool. Cheap, got them for a couple bucks. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna let them sit for, I don't know, a couple hours maybe. Woo, smoke's getting to my ass. All right, so there it is. Um, you know what I forgot to do though? I also got some chips. I gotta figure out real quick how I'm gonna get this up. So give me one second, I'll be right back. So let's just throw on a handful of chips and that should really get the smoke. I don't have to add too much. I know that from my experience of smoking food. You don't have to add a ton. So that's it. Put it in there without dropping my chicken. Let's add this back on the top. We are good to go. All right, everybody, when we come back, hopefully these things will be good to go. All right, stay tuned. It's been about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and I just want to show you real quick. It's dark outside. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip around the camera and show you what the temperature is on this thing with just a very little bit of charcoal. It's actually good, got a good heat to touch. The lower you get down, the hotter it is, of course. But you can see I'm at 195 degrees. Uh, I set it at 250 just to kind of go high. I didn't think it was going to get that hot. Um, and actually, just with a little bit of charcoal, so with, if I were to fill this whole thing up, I, I know I could get this thing up in the 200s, 250s, if not higher than that. But let's go ahead, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these out. It's getting late. It's, it's been, like I said, a couple hours maybe. So I think the chicken in here is going to have enough smoke flavor. So I'm going to actually just take these off tonight. You can see them. This is the nice thing about having that handle is you can just grab this and set it off to the side. There they are right there. Those chickens are awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, throw these in the oven for another maybe 15 minutes at 350 degrees just to finish them off. And uh, yeah, I might put some little bit of barbecue sauce on them and we're good to go. So there they are. All right, ooh, look at that, a little pop. We got the wings cooked. I threw them in the oven for an extra 10 minutes just to you know, get them really, really done. Um, I threw some barbecue sauce on them, as you see. So we're gonna pull these guys out and give them a try. Wings. They're just little barbecue barbecue wings. Just don't touch the milk because it is hot. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Ready? Ooh, nice and hot. Toasty, you gotta barely touch them. I can't barely mm. touch anything. It's still Ooh. hot. I can tell you what, they're good. Mm. Here you go. They got such a good little flavor. I know. I take. I had like kind of like I like kind of. Is it good? Mm-hmm. That's good. There's another. One. There's a little bit here. You could probably get this one. See, I can hold it. If you hold it like that and hold it like that with your fingers on your edges. There you go. A bite. Just bite into it. Just tear it into it. <laughs> that made my nose tickle. We're good. I mean, they're really good. All right, everybody. The wings were a success. Tell us what you think down below. We'll see you on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that sub button. You know, we want to see you on our next video. Hit the bell button. That way you get notified of our other videos. We'll see you on the next video. Put a comment below. We will reply to your comment. All right, everybody. See you on the next video. Bye. Bye. Put the chicken into it. But don't touch it. Flower pots. They're not just for flowers anymore. <laughs>